Okay, transport layer, um, well, as, as with any of the layers, provides services to the upper layers, such as the uh, connection orientation. Um, the lower layers are, you know, just delivering packets, that's it. So, the, uh, the transport layer is, is organizing those packets into a connection that can be used by the upper layers. Um, so, the, uh, uh, the data management in, in terms of connections, in terms of channels, in terms of streams, um, is provided here at the transport layer. Um, it's also the layer that gives you the reliable data transfer. As I mentioned earlier, the fact that um, you have uh, some error correction, not, not simply in terms of, you know, is there an error in the packet, but um, is the file complete, is the stream complete, is the uh, connection complete? Um, is it established properly? Has there been, uh, you know, the authentication and, and whatever goes on there? Um, the, uh, the push functions are also provided here at this layer. It's uh, not something that I'm really proud of in terms of security because, of course, um, push... Uh, services um, I, mean, I mean yes they they have a use but they have been badly misused in, in relation to security and, and so it's not something that I really want to uh, push but it does it does happen um, so uh, sequencing resequencing uh, retransmission of um, missing parts of uh, the, the connection, the, the stream, the channel, uh, the file, uh, and all of that. Um, there's uh, flow control. Um, you know, it, is, there, is there a timing issue? Is there a uh, latency issue? Is there um, an issue of this uh, you know, the, the target destination machine is not um, able to handle uh, data at the speed that the originating machine is able to provide it. Um, again, you know, is, uh, is that something that we need to address? And that would be addressed here at uh, the transport layer a lot of the the multiplexing. I mean, you know, we're talking about channeling. Uh, we're talking, well, we've got the, the session layer above, but we've got, um, you know, uh, session-like uh, multiplexing going on here. Um, we've talked about the, uh, the virtual private networks at the network layer. Um, so, you know, there are some similarities of function in that regard, but it is, um, you know, something to consider, and it's, it's you know, basically happening around here um, at the uh, channel connection orientation transport layer. Um, full duplex transmission, even when we have... Um, simplex channel down at the physical layer. Uh, so handling um, the ability to uh, address the, the issues of, you know, certain unidirectional channels and yet providing the connection in a bi-directional manner. So the full uh, duplex that's happening there. Um, the uh, precedence of uh, 
of data, um, the, the needs of uh, different requirements. We, we're going to talk eventually more at the application layer about um, quality of service. And so it's, it's you know, going to address that type of issue, um, but it can be addressed here at the, uh, at the transport layer. Um, and, of course, we've got the, uh, uh, you know, we've talked about the handshake for establishment of a connection and the graceful close. When we are finished with the connection, when we have finished the work that that connection is required for, then uh, closing it, um, and again, the uh, security issues with regard to leaving a connection open, um, ensuring that, you know, it is a graceful close, uh, that everybody knows, no, this is not going to receive uh, data anymore, um, that we have sort of pre-validated. So, uh, a number of, of issues there, uh, working at the transport layer, all provided there. Um, now, I've, I've mentioned and, and uh, stressed um, the difference between um, TCP, which is the, the connection orientation, and UDP. But I've also talked about streaming, and it's rather interesting that many examples of streaming of data use UDP rather than TCP. Uh, now, UDP, of course, uh, maintaining uh, simply a single packet doesn't require uh, the connection orientation, doesn't require the overhead um, that would be involved with a connection orientation, and the uh, So, in, in a streaming situation, it is very often not necessary that all the packets be received. Um, that all the packets be received in a certain order. Um, very often, if, if something is out of sequence, it can be dropped. And, yeah, you know, we get, we get a flicker, we get a, uh, you know, a frame missing, we get a uh, frame... Uh, that's um, uh, low resolution or, or, you know, even completely illegible. But um, it is more important in a streaming situation, very often, that the stream keep running rather than absolutely everything gets through. And so uh, there are a number of streaming protocols that do use UDP rather than TCP because of the low overhead. And again, the fact that, okay, if we mess up, if we drop a packet, that's not the end of the world. The more important thing is to keep it going as fast as possible. So, uh, interesting issues there at the transport layer.